Hey, space fans, it's Tarek Malik, editor-in-chief of Space.com. And on This Week in Space with Rod Pyle, we got a quick look at the Starship Flight 9 test launch date. Check it out. Because hours before we started recording today's podcast, uh, SpaceX made it official. And they have picked the launch date for the next Starship uh, mission, Starship Flight 9. The uh, the launch is set for no earlier than Tuesday, so that's May twenty. Uh, what is that? Twenty seventh? Yes, Tuesday, uh, May twenty seventh, and it's going to be at uh, I, I I guess about uh, seven, it's going to be at night, seven thirty p.m. Eastern time, six thirty uh, p.m. Central time, uh, and this is interesting in um, in two different ways. And there's another story on um, uh, online twenty four too, if you want to grab that one there too, John. Because uh, so this will be SpaceX's third Starship launch of the year, and they're hoping it's going to be their first successful launch of the year. Because as you might remember, in January and then again in February or March. Um, uh, the flight six or flight seven and flight eight uh, failed to deliver the starship to their vehicle because the upper stage had some kind of wicked shimmy or something like that. Uh, mm-hmm. And, and they both broke apart and blew up uh, and they weren't able to accomplish the mission. So they're hoping that this third time of a new and improved version uh, of, of the, uh, the flight uh, would, would actually work. Uh, and so the FAA a day prior, so earlier this week um, gave them the approval for this Flight 9 with a bunch of caveats. Number one of which was that the uh, SpaceX completed their assessment of what failed on Flight 8. They did that and they posted all of the results of that today as well, uh, which I, I, I still haven't sunk my teeth into, but uh, but if you want, you can you can head to spacex.com uh, slash launches and see uh, see it there under the um, the Flight 8 update. And uh, and then the other, the other uh, approach is that the FAA kind of wanted them to change their trajectory. So you may see a little bit of a different path on this flight than in the past because they want to make sure that the airplanes are staying pretty far away from it so they don't get grounded if there's an anomaly. Uh, and then also uh, they want to make sure that uh, there isn't any kind of debris over flight or fall uh, as we've seen in the last two flights over Turks and Caicos, uh, which was at the request of the UK government uh, over uh, the Bahamas, etc we've talked about in the past too, uh, because it's the world's largest rocket. You don't want it falling on your country. Uh, and so they've made some tweaks in that regard for this flight. Uh, and, and we'll see if they finally, you know, uh, uh, make a, a successful trip with this flight nine, this new larger, uh, and, and modified version of, uh, of Starship, their second version of it, uh, to date. And, uh, and then if they can take the next steps, which of, of which there are many, uh, for um, for the other test flights, etc. Is this intended to be an, an orbital flight? Uh, I, as I one? as I've read it, like the goal is to recreate the the earlier trajectories to get to uh, the Indian Ocean and do that okay. that soft landing in the yeah. ocean. Yeah. Uh, and this is going to be, however, the first full reflight of the booster of the super right. heavy booster. I think they've only replaced. A few engines of the thirty-three, and the rest yeah, were, hardly yeah. any, and they've test so fired it. That brings uh, them into well. the the bring the rocket down and hose it off and clean the ashtrays mode. Very um, close, yeah.